Good day folks, NP Wildman here again. Uh, just going to show you a quick setup today of the easiest set in the world for taking raccoons, fishers, and even some bobcat. I call this the pail set. Uh, all you need is a 5 gallon bucket, a 20 liter pail, um, and it helps if it has a handle but doesn't really have to. Uh, you need a hacksaw. And these are specifically designed to hold a 220 conibear. Doesn't really matter what the brand of the conibear is, almost, uh, I haven't found one yet that won't fit. Uh, so, anyway, let's get started. This is a quick and easy set. You can run 25, 30, 40 of these pail sets along your line and you won't be able to keep up with the skinning um, if you're running that many sets. One year I tried to run 50 of these um, while I was still working and it was kind of a part time line and I, I couldn't, I had to pull 20 of them. Uh, I just couldn't skin fast enough uh, to keep ahead of the raccoons and the fishers. Um, anyway, what you have to do, simple, is on the side with the handle, uh, I just need, you just need to cut a notch uh, down to the lip where the handle attaches. Okay, so I just always cut it down right to that ring where there's a, there's always a, um, a more solid piece right there for the handle to attach to. Uh, I cut down that far and then I come over about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And I just cut down the same depth. When that's done, I just bend that piece outward, take my hacksaw, just trim down along the edge, and I cut that piece off. Okay? So what that gives us is it gives us about a three quarters of an inch to an inch slot that's pretty near two inches deep or sometimes two and a half depends on your pail. You want to do the same thing on both sides. Okay. Now there's a reason that I do it um, with the, in the same direction as the handle. One of the reasons is that when you carry these, I mean I always carry one of these in, I put my bait in there, I put my trap in there and I grab the handle and I go. Um, if you do it that way, the handle fits in the slots, and they're pretty easy to carry. If you cut your slots the other way, they're still not too bad to carry in, but when you set these, if you, if you cut them the other direction, if you, when you set them, your handle is to the side. Okay? I always want my handle to be used as a support if necessary. So typically I will set these like this with the handle up. Uh, in my terrain, but there are some times if it's a little bit rolly or rocky where you want to set them with the handle down, and if you set them with the handle down, it will allow that it stabilizes the trap somewhat. Uh, not great, but it, it still does. Okay, so I always cut them uh, so that the handle is it, the slots are in line with the handle. Okay, so that's easy. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill some holes in the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so it really doesn't matter how many holes you drill or how big you drill. I drill usually about a quarter of an inch and I usually drill six or eight holes around the outside edge. Find if you drill them next to the edge of the, uh, of the pail, it doesn't tend to crack as much if you have some older pails that aren't as, aren't as new or flexible. Okay. There you go. So, just a few holes in the bottom of the pail. This, uh, this for two reasons. First of all, it's nice to get the smell of that bait uh, coming out the back of the pail, but for the most part, it's just for water drainage so that they don't freeze up and you don't get a bunch of ice or, or water or snow in the bottom of your pail. Also, when I store these, I store a dozen pails, one on top of the other. Um, and if you don't put some holes in the bottom, they can tend to airlock together, and then that's a real struggle to pull them out uh, and get going. The color of your pail doesn't matter. I've had great success with, uh, with these yellow orange pails. Uh, I use a lot of white pails. I try to stay away from the black pails, uh, and the reason I stay away from the black ones is that they tend to heat up when the sun hits them and it rots your bait a little quicker. And also, when you put the trap in the mouth of the pail, um, if you want to do a quick check, like a drive-by, or just not quite get all the way to the pail to check it, uh, I find it really hard to see the to see the outline of the trap in front of the pail, so a little easier with a lighter colored pail. But anyway, that's it. So your pail's all set, ready to go in the woods. Grab your, uh, grab your favorite trap, grab your favorite bait, and let's get out there in the woods and show you how to set one of these. All right, folks, here we are out, uh, out on the line with the pail. It's a pretty easy setup. Just put the pail in, just like that. And get your 220 trap ready. 
You're gonna grab your favorite piece of beaver, favorite piece of beaver, toss them in the pail, and you're gonna set the 220. Right now, I set mine with the uh, with the trigger down and the dog up. Lots of people set it the other way. I've seen a lot of bucket sets uh, in the square pails, and they're set opposite to this. I like to set mine this way. That way, the smaller rodents can get in and out uh, and not spring the trap. Okay, so just like that, stretch it out flat, slide it in the slots, and what I do is I bend mine up, just like that, I pinch it in the pail a little bit, and then I tie it off. So take your, take your toggle wire, tie it to something solid in the back of the pail, and you're all set. That is a quick and easy set. You're going to take a pile of raccoons and a pile of fisher in this type of set. Um, I use beaver meat exclusively for bait just because that's what everybody likes. I will give you one word of caution though. When you cut your slots in the pail like you've seen that I've done here, don't cut triangles. Uh, I've seen some people try to use the round pails and they cut, instead of the squares like I showed you, they cut a triangle shape in the pail. Um, when you bend the wires up, when you bend your springs up, that'll tend to force the trap to the front and you'll, what'll happen is it'll fall, it'll fall at the front of the pail. So, Anyway, that's it. Uh, NB Wildman here just showing you a quick and easy pail set. I use a pile of these on my line, and they uh, they they score. And, and you can, you'll, like I say, if you use 20 or 30 of these, you won't be able to keep up with the Skinner in the first shed. So um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, send us a comment. Uh, give us a like. We um, turn on those notifications so when we upload new videos, you 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 get you get a notice. And uh, that's it for today. NB Wildman out.